Hello again folks, Joe with Hilltop Camper and RV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Jayco Seismic Luxury 4113. Kind of a revised or renewed uh, line from Jayco. We're going to start with the outside here. If you notice the front cap, this is built a lot like our Class C motorhomes. So it's a double clear coat, automotive grade paint. You can tell by the nice shine and that should slow down on some fading. Um, Underneath here, they are standard with the 5,500 watt Onan generator. And on the right side of that gen there, you'll have uh, space to store four to five batteries, which is an industry leader on uh, battery storage. So moving along the side here, you got the nice slam latches with the, the magnet catches on top, so you don't have to fiddle around with those plastic things anymore. Uh, six point auto leveling system that's all hydraulic. And then uh, you can kind of see here, this does have a 40,000 BTU furnace. That's that big black box here. And then the Moride step above steps, of course, which have the zero gravity we like to call feature, uh, the strut assist. So, and this also, this particular model is equipped with a climate shield and extreme weather package. So the 4113 has the side deck and the rear patio ramp for the garage. And the, you have outdoor entertainment here with speakers. So this is really a, a cool toy hauler. You know, you get everything unloaded and you got a nice big area to entertain with. Uh, new to the seismic line here is the J-Port, which is a two inch receiver. Uh, you slide a receiver in and then you set your griddle on top of it. And then you have your cable and a satellite and power source here with an awning, so you can kind of set up shop here, set a table up, um, put a big TV on it, and you can cook and entertain, watch the game or whatever. And of course, for our garage door, there is a spring assist. We'll pop that open here. So nice and easy, not too heavy. Uh, Jayco also did make it standard for this uh, your, your deck add-ons for the railing here. The steps are latched down inside and then you have real glass uh, sliding doors and you can actually open the windows on that. One other thing I like to point out too is they did change the graphics package as well. So an automotive style graphics package, not just plain white and with a few uh, little decals like a lot of our competitors run. And also we have the rear awning over the back party deck if you're using it as a deck instead of a ramp. And just like uh, Jayco's North Point and Pinnacle luxury units, the Seismic Luxury does have the Moride pin box, which is gonna help with your chucking. And then coming down the side here, new for 2023, we went with uh, Uniroyal H-rated tires. Uniroyal is a company that's owned by Michelin. So a really good load rating for those. Uh, two dual 30 pound or 30 gallon fuel stations, uh, one dedicated to the generator uh, with a timer, and then something really cool again on a toy hauler. You usually don't see a SantaCon macerator system, but Jayco put it in there for you. And since you can't mount a ladder on a ramp door, we do give you the ladder on the side so you can still access your roof for maintenance. Seismic Luxury also comes standard with the Weingart Air 360, so you can add a uh, SIM card to that and have 4G internet. Uh, this particular unit's also equipped with your slide out topper awnings. And then you'll also notice the big frameless windows. Well folks, let's go take a peek inside. All right, coming on inside, you can tell by the look of this that it's um, built just like a North Point or a Pinnacle, Jayco's luxury line. Um, they like to say it's a, we don't like to call it a toy hauler, it's a luxury fifth wheel with a garage. So you got your Stacy Stewart four-person couch, it's a recliner. Um, they are doing the TV dinner trays, what we call them. So they can sit right in the cup holder. You can sit and watch TV and right in front of your nice 5,000 BTU electric fireplace. Um, JPL sound system. Um, all the cabinets in here are a hardwood surface as, oh, as well as the fascia for the slide outs in this. All right, moving on to the kitchen. As you'll see, this is a, a really good separation from the living room, which uh, a lot of times you don't see in a toy hauler, considering you lose a lot of living space with having a garage on. Um, this particular model we have equipped with the, the bigger 18 and a half cubic foot gas electric fridge, uh, solid surface countertops. We have a stainless steel barn style sink. So here you'll notice uh, 
This is a fresh drinking water system that's patented by Jayco. There's a five gallon water bottle that you can refill at your grocery store so you have fresh drinking water at the campground. Um, and then again, all their new 22 at changes, the, all the black faucets and handles and that. So plenty of room to work up here. You got a residential style oven, range, uh, residential style, looks like an induction microwave. And for 2023, Jayco changed their power tower to, do a, to have a wireless charger on top with your two 110s, USB-C and USB charger on there. All right, coming in the bedroom, you'll notice a uh, king bed and that huge front automotive grade windshield, which will let in a lot more light and just makes it feel a lot more roomy in here. Um, this is a north-south bed floor plan. Uh, the Seismic does make a east-west uh, bed as well, on a different floor plan. All right, take a look at this bathroom, guys. Residential style shower with glass sliding doors. Um, again, the new upgraded black hardware for the knobs and the shower head. But this thing just looks super fancy. Uh, you also have a porcelain toilet, and then the sink is a raised bowl um, on top of the counter instead of being built into the counter, which opens up some extra storage space in the cabinets. All right, coming into the garage here, you'll notice the, the new stitched seats, which I've never seen anything like this on any of our competitors either. They look like kind of Euro bucket seats for the Happy Jack system. Um, right now we do have the ladder for your party deck strapped down to the floor. Uh, these are actually 5,000 pound rated D-rings. Uh, Jayco D-classes them to 2,500 because they couldn't find a leg bolt that's strong enough to pull 5,000. They actually pull test them. So technically it's a 5,000, but Jayco rates them to 2,500. Um, you do have a table to, with uh, pedestals that go here in the floor. And if you take a look over here, you have your happy jack controls and then your 12-volt uh, awning control that goes over your party deck. Looking down here, your washer dryer prep is here in the garage. Um, depending on the floor plan with a north-south bed, they don't have that big fifth wheel closet area, so they do put the washer dryer prep in the garage itself. Bedroom. This is the, the bat wing, we call it, which is prepped for the Fury and camera, so you can watch uh, your cargo while you're going down the road. And a cool fact, Jayco actually started doing this about eight years ago, and now the industry is finally kind of catching on. So cool feature with a Jayco. Uh, come in here, look at, you get a half bath in the garage. A porcelain toilet, and uh, I didn't mention before that these do come in two different color schemes. Classic Cottage, which this one is, and then Modern Farm. So when you do the Classic Cottage, you, you get the Modern Farm in the bathrooms typically. Another thing too, you do have a um, fantastic vent fan in here. That's a 12 volt with a rain sensor. Um, this also does have two 15,000 BTU air conditioners on Jayco's Helix cooling system. So you got plenty of cold air running through this rig. Another thing I find really unique with uh, the Jayco and the Seismic, um, Jayco's luxury fifth wheels do have a central vac system, but most of our competitors on a toy hauler, especially since everybody's gotten rid of the carpet, uh, tend not to have that central vac system. So Jayco is still doing the central vac even on a toy hauler. And here in your entertainment center, you got your 5000 BTU electric fireplace as well as your JP, JBL sound system. Um, we, there is a powered sub in here, and you do have your base powered sub controller up here, which apparently one of the engineers at Jayco had in his truck, and that's what gave him the idea to do it. Uh, let us know if you have any other questions on this. My name again is Joe, here with uh, Hilltop Camper in Fridley.